Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Bay, and this is Budget with Bay. gonna get right into this okay because the way that y'all bullied me in those comments about the perfumes specifically the arabian perfumes i have tons of other perfumes but this is the collection that you guys want to see so i'm going to give you guys a quick mini haul all of these perfumes can actually be found in the description below in my amazon storefront yes i bought every last one of these off of amazon and at the time that i bought them which was like three, maybe three weeks ago. They all ranged from, I think this was the cheapest, but it was like, this one was like $14. And I think the most was 60. So all of these are between 14 and $60. Like a lot of them are really less than 50, but I know because of the holiday and the demand, it may have increased a little bit. So, you know, don't, don't quote me because I know how you girls like to tussle, but yes, I'm going to go ahead and get into this quick haul. And then what we're going to be, um, doing today we're going to be counting my sinking funds because in my last video i counted my saving challenges to see how much i've saved so far um starting my journey in august to december and i also would like to count my sinking funds because that's money i've saved as well to see exactly how much in total have i really saved in five months so yes let's go ahead and get into this so the first perfume i'm going to be um showing you guys is casablanca very very much affordable i kid you not affordable i feel like i paid 20 dollars for this but like i said don't quote me because i know how y'all like to tussle but yes casablanca so casablanca is like it's a very i'm gonna make sure i i'm gonna stand up because i need to make sure you guys can see this but casablanca is like a very sweet um not not very very sweet but it is a sweet floral fruity perfume so this has notes of apple grapes white woods caramel caramel whatever you guys want to call it and amber this is really like it's a light and gentle and sweet smell like this i wore this to work and got so many compliments on it and sometimes i even um spray this and wear it to sleep and it's by swiss arabian they have really good perfumes really good quality and this one i felt for me was long lasting and i like how compact it is because a lot of these other ones are pretty big but this is something too that i can't actually like slide in my bag but you guys this one all of the perfumes are over here are 10 out of 10 but i'm gonna i'm gonna show y'all some hundreds out of a hundreds okay but yes this one um Highly recommend can be found in my bio. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and put that one down. And then on to our next, which is my real nighttime fragrance. This is Choco Musk. Plain and simple. Smells like hot chocolate. You smell like a cup of warm, delicious hot chocolate. Like not really the marshmallows, but it smells like delicious hot chocolate. And as you can see, you actually get a lot for the price. I believe this was Choco Must was either $12 or $14. I believe it was $12. Like it was like $12 and some change. And it literally smells like a bowl. A bowl. I'm sorry. It smells like a cup of hot chocolate. I wear this to bed. I wear this to bed. And I found that this scent is very, very comforting for my toddler. Like, you know, him and his sensory and stuff like that. But like when I wear this, my son will come and just get in my bed. And then like he'll snuggle right up on me. And he'll fall straight to sleep. Hell, I fall to sleep too. Like, come on now. I'm, I'm smelling like delicious warm chocolate. And this pet um this pairs really well with some type of vanilla brown sugar body wash and lotion. Cause you know, layering starts when you're in the shower. So you want to layer up in the shower when you moisturize and then when you put on your nighttime scent, and even you know your daytime scent. But yes, Choco Musk. Put that one down. And so our next one that we're gonna get into, when I tell y'all this the one, this the one, and it's not the two. 
this okay you know what no 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 we're not gonna get into that one <laughs> we're not gonna get into that one because that one is in the box i'm gonna show you my favorites last i'm gonna show you guys my favorites last but the next one is my pronunciation may be a little bit off but it's club de nuit intense the women there's two kinds make sure you get the intense it's it's intense women and ours look um it's black with gold i think the other one is black with silver for men but it's black with gold and so this one smells like rose saffron nutmeg pepper vanilla and oud and a little bit of amber i'm starting to fall in love with oud it's oh, oud is a majority of these scents here have oud in them but yes this is what it looks like very very affordable like I said, all of these are from the range of $12 to $60. And so I, I'm not that girl that spends $100, $200, $300 on perfumes unless I really, really, really want it and it really, really smells good. But it's the fact that these last way longer than the, you know, name brand or like the more popular, um, like, you know, like Gucci Floro or even some Versace um, even some Tom Ford, even Baccarat, like a lot of these last way longer and they're like a fraction of the price. But yes, highly recommend this one. I love this one. You can see me in the reflection. Hey. <laughs> but yes, I recommend this one. And we're, we have to get into like these bottles. I haven't seen like a lot of perfume bottles with this type of aesthetic. Like I haven't. Um, and so next we're going to get into this beauty over here oud mood clearly by the name you know it has oud in it and so oud mood actually smells like rose saffron it has oud in it it has um caramel it has floral amber woody notes and a hint of musk this is the bottle you get a lot of bang for your buck i believe this one ran me i want to say like 30 dollars 30 for this like this is absolutely, I'm going to get a little closer so you guys can see it, but this is absolutely beautiful on oh, the packaging that this come in top tier. Didn't save that one. I only wanted to save like my favorite, favorite ones. And plus I ran out of space, <laughs> but yes, highly recommend. This is also one of my favorites. Actually, all of these down here are my favorites to be honest, but I'm going to show you guys what my real, real favorites are. So we're going to get into this one. I believe is called Nebras. Well, not tell y'all this the one and not the two. Hold on. You know, when I be getting ready in the morning. But when I tell you guys this is the one and not the two. Sorry for the handprints. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, okay. We, <laughs> we're back in action. But when I tell y'all, this smells exactly like the... um. Billie Eilish's perfume, Eilish. It smells exactly like that, but the gag is it's a little bit stronger and it lasts way longer than hers. Like this is an all day scent. This definitely gave me all day coverage from the time I stepped out the house to the time I got to work, to the time I picked up my son, to the time that I got home, even I showered. And I'm talking about I shower good head to toe. And even when I got out the shower, this was still on me. This right here is a 11 out of 10. This is an 11 out of 10. This is a highly, highly, highly recommend. And then um, scents for this are red, berries, mandarin. It has a little bit of vanilla, rose, tonka bean, and like a few other notes. But those are like the specific ones that like I smell right off the bat when using this. When I tell y'all, if y'all want to send anything to my P.O. box, if y'all want to bless me with anything, y'all can send me another one of these okay because i'm about ready to buy me another one and i haven't even put a dent in this one but I, I feel like i need to stock up because i feel like once i post this video the girlies are gonna go running and it's gonna be out of stock and i'm gonna be very very sad okay but yes this smells just like the um billy eilish perfume eilish but it lasts way longer 11 out of 10 highly recommend that every girly add this to their collection okay boom so where I did all of these. So let's get into Ajwar. Y'all, and I kept the box because the box is fire. Okay. <laughs> Let me tell you about this. I don't know if this is a woman or it, I don't know. But Latafa, Latafa has, Latafa is that girl. 
Latapa is that girl. Cause Nebris, I believe, is by her as well. Let me see. Yup, yup, yup. Look at that. Yup. Mm-hmm. Hold on. Is this one by her too? Not sure. I'm gonna have to look again. But when I tell y'all, mm, this smells so good. Now for my floral fruity girls. This is for you. This is for you. Yes, darling. So this one has like fruity notes. It smells like rose, jasmine. It has musk, amber, and it has like a hint of vanilla in there. Like that beautiful sweetness that comes off of you. Like after you've sprayed it on you and then you wave it around. And it's like that scent kind of like rises up from the back end. And it's just absolutely beautiful. But let's get into the packaging because that's why I kept this box. Y'all. Y'all. Look. Look. Mm. Look at this. Look at this. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I'm absolutely beautiful. I'm over here looking at my um I'm recording and I'm looking at the time. I'm all I'm at like 11 minutes, but like I'm going to try to make this quick, but the detail. Let's hop and know what they be doing. The detail. Absolutely beautiful. Super heavy. It doesn't feel cheap at all and it like is super full to the top. Oh, this is gorgeous this is gorgeous i really have these like on all, all my perfumes are on my wall in my room but i just kept these three boxes because i had to show you guys them so that's that one and let me get into this beauty right here this one is actually ornament so this one is ornament by afnan i have another afnan perfume down here as well but i kept this box because y'all look 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 how you open this one period look how you take it out look how you take it out Look at the inside, right, right. But look at the, oh my God. What did I do to deserve this? This is Ornament by Afnan. Ornament smells like coconut fruits. It has floral notes, orange blossom, amber, vanilla, and musk. When I tell y'all this is an 11 out of 10, 11 out of 10. Now I will say that this does not last all day, but I did, um, it did last me about like a good six hours and i would highly suggest you guys get like those travel perfume um little thingies i'll link that as well in my amazon storefront but that's what i do i just have my travel ones and you know little spritz spritz here and there when you go to the restroom but this this smells so good you guys this smells so good it's unbelievable how it smells this good and it's as cheap as it is okay because gucci would have had a field day with this gucci probably would have been charging us 400 hell my chanel chance which is the same um the same liquid ounce amount my chanel chance ran it ran my husband like in vegas what did he pay my husband paying like 120 130 for it i paid 45 dollars for this 45 top tier and i will wear this over that chanel perfume any day every chance i get and I'm gonna put, oh, Jesus, look at that. Okay, and now, last, but very much not least, 100 out of 100, 100 out of 10. Highly, highly recommend if you're gonna buy any of these perfumes down here, we're, we're, you're gonna buy this one, okay? So, baby, baby. Okay, and the box is a little, you know, cause it was stored under. Give me a second, don't rush, don't rush. Hmm. Camera by Latapa again. Yes, the one and only. This is the box. But you guys, all of these were blind buys. All of these I bought because the girlies on TikTok said these smell good. They're on Amazon and they're affordable. And I'm trying to get into my soft air. I'm trying to get more thin. I'm trying to get back into myself after having my child. And so when I tell y'all this makes me feel like a woman. I'm gonna tell you, this makes me feel like a sexy woman. This reminds me of like sex in the city uh, um, in New York on a, on a Saturday night, going to the club with your girls with a little clutch, with a cute little slim silk dress on heels. Oh my God. Let me, let me just show you guys. Let me, let me show you guys the material. What? And you can see my reflection in there. <laughs> but what are we talking about? What are we talking about, y'all? What exactly are we talking about? I'm talking about gold plated mirror. What are we talking about? The, the material. The material. 
this is only 3.4 fluid ounces but when i take it out here i made a dent in it though as you can see i've been using it but what are we talking oh, let me take it out of here so you can oh mm. Mm. this one 100 out of 10 10 out of 10 100 out of 100 highly recommend when i tell y'all it's this is this is like oh my god this is like like a like a like a sweet apple like a like it's spicy and boozy it has um notes of cinnamon nutmeg warm apple vanilla tonka bean and praline when i tell y'all if you ever wanted if if you ever wanted a man's reaction or a woman's reaction okay if you ever wanted someone's reaction wear this when i wore this to work and i walked by i've never got so many compliments on a scent or how I smelt ever. I'm talking about I sprayed everything. I'm talking about from head to my toe. I even sprayed my hair, y'all. This is going to be my signature scent. Like when you smell this, you're just gonna be like, oh, babe was babe was here. Yes, yes, I was. Yes, yes, I was. You you smell it, you see the material, you know what's up. <laughs> but this, y'all, this 10 out of 10, based off the presentation, based off the packaging. The packaging alone gets 10 out of 10 because what are we talking about? I highly recommend this, you guys. I highly, highly recommend this. All of this will be linked in my Amazon storefront. If anything is sold out on Amazon, you can just leave a comment or something. And I'm pretty sure that I'll be able to find a link on a different site for these for you guys if you want them. But like I said, if you're going to get everything, anything, you're going to get this first. We're going to get this. You're going to get ornament. You're going to get nebras um casablanca and choco must very affordable twenty dollars or less but y'all 10 out of 10 highly recommend and now that y'all have bullied me <laughs> into showing you guys my beautiful arabian perfume collection that is still going to be growing it is time for us to get into counting my sinking funds so we can do my end of the year close out you know so thank you guys for tuning into the the perfume haul now let's get into the budgeting okay <laughs> okay hey y'all we are back we're back with the original setup i hope you guys enjoyed that little haul but since that haul was a little long i just want to go ahead and jump in and get into this so if you guys remember in my previous video when i did count my um saving challenges including my son's um to a uh, 5k challenge um the total came out to $7,535.93. So we decided that we were going to put the $2,200 back in my son's, that $3,000 was going to go to the bank, and then I actually was going to cash the $2,535. Actually, you guys, I came to the conclusion that I'm going to be an adult, okay? That $2,000, I mean, $2 that I was going to cash stuff, I'm going to take to the bank tomorrow. I'm going to take to the bank tomorrow and I'm going to put a big dent into my car loan, okay? Because this year is about saving, but it's also about debt. So I'm prioritizing debt over a lot of things. So I will be tight on my budget. I will be consistent with my budget and not overspending because the goal is to essentially become debt free. Like this is the goal to financial freedom. Um, I'm going to actually insert in here. I had a goal that I wanted to be um, credit card debt free by the end of 2022. And I actually gave myself this goal like two weeks ago. Okay. Two, I had two weeks to become um, credit card debt free. I had one credit card that was like at 11,000, one credit card that was like at 5,000, one that was at 2,200. Amazon storefront was at like 1,300. Amazon Prime was like at 1,100. And I am happy to say, as the screenshots pop up on the screen, your girl paid her credit cards off. Your girl is officially credit card debt free as well as my credit card my credit score jumped up 45 points i believe is what it said your girl credit score is about i think it said 720 last time i checked and that does not even include all the that doesn't include everything else that was paid off because you know they don't report to the credit bureaus until um your statement date so it for sure will be way higher and my goal is to um buy a home that's the goal to buy a home but yes you guys 
I am credit card debt free. Okay, okay. And between the months of August and December for my saving challenges, I saved seven thousand five hundred thirty-five dollars and ninety-three cents. We'll just we'll just round that ninety-three cents up, okay? But so I saved seven thousand five hundred thirty-six dollars, and so we're gonna count the money that's in my sinking funds so I can see how much I really saved. Like, don't get me wrong. This is like this is amazing to have saved in five months with saving challenges alone but don't forget i was also stuffing my sinking funds and i haven't really pulled a lot of money from my sinking funds i think really at all so let's see how much i've saved in total okay so i'll add that seven thousand five hundred thirty five dollars last and we're gonna start off with the big baby so i do have like um trackers in here but um sometimes i do forget to update them and so you know how that goes but um i'm not gonna count dirty 30 simply because i'm paying myself back um from purchasing my flight and my um hotel room for my uh, birthday for jamaica next year i'm paying myself back i think i owe myself like 200 dollars, so i'm not gonna count that okay so we're gonna start with breast reduction okay and so what I have in here, I have 102, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 910. I don't have anything for my sunshine because you guys know I'm actively participating in a challenge for him. So once I complete that challenge, then we'll start stuffing um, the sinking fund. Disneyland. Disneyland has... How much did I get in here? Disneyland has... 40. I'll zip these up later because I don't want this video to be longer than what it needs to be because I do have four seeking fun binders as you see. So Becoming Her, Becoming Her has 102, 3, 4, 50, 70, 80, 85. 1, 2, 3, 4. It has 485. And you guys, I know I don't have no nails on. It's the end of the month. At the beginning of the month, when it comes in, when, when it fits into my budget, I will get it done, okay? Other than that, sometimes I do wear press-ons. Um, but for the most part, I was actually doing some stuff around the house. So I'm like, girl, it's okay. They won't judge you. Y'all won't judge me? I hope y'all not judging me. But emergency fund has 100, 2, 3, 4, 500, 510. Okay. So that's all we have for the big baby. Now on to my like full life binder. Okay. Health. Health has 102, 3, 400, 420, 430, 435, 440. 440 for health. I haven't had to touch to this binder. I mean this envelope at all. But you know, you just never know, okay? Black Bonnie, which is something I, I touch every month because, you know, get your car washed, detailed, oil change. Black Bonnie has 20, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65. And that's because I actually just got an oil change. As you can see, it was minus um, $80 for my oil change. Home maintenance. Home maintenance only has, sorry. Home maintenance only has $21. $21, $21 with an S, $21 for home maintenance. Holidays, holidays only has $20. No need for me to pull that out. I know that for a fact. And help somebody has 15. I know that for a fact as well. Prime subscription has 15. Friends and family has 18. And Black Friday, Cyber Monday has 10. These ones I know I don't have to count because I haven't stuffed them. They've been the same for a while. So on to my Sunshine's binder. So this is my Sun's binder. I'm going to just make sure that um, you're able to see. But yes, this is my Sun's binder. Let's count what we have saved up in here for him. So fresh cut what I have saved in here for his haircuts. I have 100, 120, 130, 140, 145. 145 for his haircut. Clothes, which I haven't had to touch. 
we have 100, 150, 170, 190, 210, 220, 225, 230. Plus 230 for his clothes. Mm, that's some. That's a good amount of clothes, okay? That's a good amount of money for um, clothes for toddlers. I can get a lot of stuff for my son, um, especially at Walmart. I love the Walmart that we have over here. They have like an immense amount of stuff for boys. You would be so surprised. So shoes, we have 50, 100, we have 20, 40, 50, 55, 60. We have 160 for shoes. And I need to pay myself back for them Uggs that I purchased him that I believe were $100. So I will pay myself back once I check my account. Tech. Tech has 20, 40, 60, 65. $65 in his tech binder and then education which I know I took some money out of here we have 100 150 170 190 210 230 240 245 what I really have 245 two, four, six, eight, what? I really have 245 plus 245 <laughs> oh yeah I do have 245 yep yep didn't take anything out of here and so, last but not least, we have my binder. Sorry for my, sorry for my, um, my charms. So in my self-care binder, sorry, not binder. Well, this really is like a self-care binder, but my self-care envelope, self-care envelope has 100, 200, 250, 270, 280. We have... $280 in self-care. So I'm supposed to have 310, but you know what? I might have taken some out of here. So yeah, it's okay. No, you know what? Actually, yeah, I did. I took some out of there today. Fitness, we have 100, 20, 40, 50, 55, 60. We have 160 in fitness. Clothing. I know clothing doesn't have much because I did just go buy me some stuff. We have 20, 40, 45. Plus 45 dollars. Investments. I know investments doesn't have much, but let's see. We have 20, 40, 20, 40, 60, 50, 55, 56, 57. No, 20, 40, 60, 70, 75, 76, 77. Y'all was just going to let me be wrong, cause Y'all wasn't even going to correct me. I thought, I thought, I thought we was better than that. Tech. Tech has 100, 20, 30, 35. It has 135 in tech. Hold on, let me just make some, yeah. 135 in tech. Luxury goods. You know, for them, for them perfumes, y'all, luxury goods have 50, 70, 90, 110, 120, 125, 130, plus 130. Budget with Bay has 20, 30, 35, 40. And last but not least, we had debt payoff, but I did pull this out in order to contribute to um the last like when i took that money to the bank i just went ahead and took this out to contribute to you know making sure that i was fully paid off with my credit card debt so all of my sinking funds come to a total of let's see drum roll please boom i currently have right here sitting right here i have four thousand two hundred sixty one dollars I was able to save $4,261 in my sinking funds, even though I did like spend a little bit of money in Black Bonnie for my car. Um, let's see, Black Bonnie for my car, friends and family, my son's um, education, and we didn't count Dirty 30. So those are probably like really the only few envelopes that I touched and I'm really, really proud of myself about that. I saved $4,261, you guys. So let's go ahead and add. We're going to add what we save for the saving challenges, okay? So it's plus 
$35. Okay. I'm okay. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. How much have I saved in total from August 1st, 2020 until today, which is December 28th? How much has, how much have I saved? Oh my God. And you know what? You know what? That debt payoff envelope, before I took it out, that debt payoff envelope has $325 in it. So if I put plus the $325, <sighs> okay, I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna cry on camera. You know, I'm not gonna cry on camera. I saved $12,121, you guys. <laughs> My heart, my chest, like it's it's fluttering, it's fluttering with like overwhelmness and joys. Like I'm a little, I'm weak in knees, child. Stand up, stand up. Like I was able to save twelve thousand one hundred twenty-one dollars in five months. <laughs> I, I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful to to God be the glory, y'all. Uh, because it wouldn't be possible without Him. The these streams of income, these side hustles, working, being able to save for my son, being able to save for myself, being able to contribute to pay off debt, to make sure that I am on my journey to. <sighs> okay, I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna cry. I am not gonna cry. Y'all look at me. Can you see me? I think I'm gonna cry. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for loving on me. Thank you guys for appreciating me. Thank you guys for welcoming me with open arms into this community. I I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I don't know what to say. I'm lost for words. Like you thought I was lost for words in our last video. I'm lost for words now. I have saved $12,121 within actual money and change. I have saved $12,121, you guys. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I don't want to make this video longer than what it needs to be. And I really want to scream and shout for joy. I really want to just get on my knees and say a prayer. <sighs> Can I just read? Ooh, okay, <laughs> I'm crying, yeah, I'm crying. But I just really wanna get on my knees and say a prayer because to be able to save this much in, in the short amount of time that I did, I'm so grateful and I'm so thankful. I'm so, I'm just so thankful. I'm so thankful, I'm happy. I'm so happy. I'm happy, y'all, I'm, I'm happy. These are happy tears, I'm happy. Ooh, I'm happy, you guys. Um, This is my end of the month closeout. My last video of 2022 would just be me showcasing my 2023 saving challenges. But this is my last like real video of 2022. And I want to just say thank you. Thank you to all of y'all that subscribed. Thank you to all of you guys that cheered me on, that believed in me, that congratulated me, that didn't shame me when I fell off my budget or anything. I just want to say thank you. Like I'm over the moon. I'm overjoyed. I, I, I'm, I'm very, very appreciative. I want to say th let's, let's get it together. Let's get it together. I, I don't even know what I was saying, but you guys, um, thank you. Thank you all. See y'all that follow me on Instagram, follow me on TikTok, like my videos, share my videos, interact with me. Um, I interact with every single body. I reply to every single comment. And I just want to say thank you guys. Just thank you guys so much. 2023 is going to be big things in stores for me, for this channel. We're, go we're, we're going, we're growing, and we're still on our journey to financial freedom. If you were ever hesitant about starting your journey, look and see what I've accomplished in a short amount of time. Don't compare your finances to my finances. I won't compare my finances to your finances because everybody have a different type of set of goals, okay? All you have to do is start. Just start. Start somewhere, whether it's a dollar a day, a dollar a week, a dollar a month, $2 here, some change or whatever, as long as you start, okay? And you will eventually see a great deal of progress. I believe in you. I believe in you. You can do it, okay? I believe in you and I love you. Okay? Yes, I do. So, um yes, girl. <laughs> 
please make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Follow me on all of my social media platforms. In the meantime and in between time, I will see you guys in 2023. Bye. Thank you.